humanoid robots when science fiction walks out of the laboratory. A human built in metal and code. Let's take a journey into the future and explore how humanoid robots develop and change humanity, paving the way for robots using sonar to see through walls in 10 years' time, for the creation of bio-robots with human skin faces in 30 years, for human minds to be transferred into humanoid bodies in 90 years, and for a superintelligence that walks, the one that is self-aware, in 200 years' time. People are living with silent household robots that are under $30,000 and are capable of cleaning, security, assisting the elderly, and managing the house. Humanoid bots are self-charging with an onboard maintenance self-diagnosis system. Energy transference allows the robots to wirelessly transmit power to devices. Conversational humanoids have large language models fully integrated. They are used as companion robots. Society begins to normalize their presence in homes, hospitals, and workplaces, and climbing on the side of buildings. Humans work as robotic nomads, controlling robots from a different country. Japan, with its aging population, has robots stocking shelves, working in shipping, and in factories, all controlled by people outside the country. Hospitals and elder care facilities use robotic exoskeletons and humanoid assistants. In laboratories, scientists work on the development of soft robotics. They are creating synthetic muscle systems, which will allow for fluid, safe, and human-like motions. And the scientists experiment with hydrogel composites embedded with nanosensors. They will act as a layered skin, capable of touch, temperature sensing, and self-healing, replicating human faces. People question whether it has already happened. The first humanoid influencer. Japan is the largest importer of androids. Built-in voice recognition allows only authorized users to command the robots. Modular body components are showcased, featuring self-swappable tools and limbs. Lunar 1, the first humanoid robot, goes online on the moon. A photo of its first footprint on the surface is sent back to Earth. The Encyclopedia of the Future Android Majority The moment in time when a nation's robotic population outnumbers its human population. Mars represents the first Android Majority civilization in human history. Robots have brains that use reinforcement learning. Their software gives them a digital reward signal. They are rewarded for energy efficiency and stability. This leads to emergent patterns that they have created by themselves. Massive groups of humanoids work together, creating swarm intelligence. The growing intelligence of each machine is sent to a central brain and combined, creating an even more powerful intelligence that controls the hive of robots. Companion robots possess personalities based on continuous years-long interactions with their users. The robots have individual speech patterns, humor styles, and forms of emotional expression. Humanoids are blending into the workforce alongside humans, working in construction, food and beverage, retail assistance, and agriculture. The first android performs a maintenance spacewalk. Everyday human prosthetics use myoelectric control. Electrodes are connected into the surrounding nerves, and the cyborg prosthetic moves almost as naturally as a biological limb. Experiments are underway in phantom sense correction, where missing limb sensations are fully restored, with temperature, texture, and vibration being relayed back through the nerves. Built-in sonar systems allow robots to see through walls and detect internal structures of objects. They navigate in complete darkness. Robots are also built with insect-inspired vision systems, with thousands of micro-lenses providing 360 degrees of awareness. The lenses track hundreds of moving objects while detecting motion invisible to human eyes. The first government establishes the first laws for humanoid rights, ownership, liability, and restrictions in human-robot interactions. Policy is evolving to manage non-biological entities. Humanoids develop small, self-driven routines. New, emergent behaviors have formed, such as standing in sunlight to warm sensors, humming when idle, and arranging objects in aesthetically pleasing ways. Humanoids are modeling emotional states and forms of self-expression. The robots are beginning to achieve theory of mind. It is the understanding of other beliefs, mental states to oneself, and intentions. 
Advancements in battery technology extend operational time to 24 hours on a single charge. In hospitals, Androids monitor vital signs and administer medication with 99% accuracy. Trust in medical-based humanoids is growing. Soon, the robots will take the lead in surgical procedures. Brain implants bypass nerves entirely, giving prosthetics direct motor control. The artificial limbs feed continuous sensory data back into the brain, merging seamlessly with body maps. These limbs outperform biological ones, with grip strength, speed, and precision passing human limits. Experiments are underway in implanting AI into the artificial limbs. Long-lived robots stand with mismatched parts and outdated tech. They possess long-term, autobiographical memory, remembering experiences in absolute detail from years ago. They enter offline generative states, like a dream, where they combine memories to test new behaviors and ideas. This is given the name generative replay. Others call it an internal simulation. Researchers are placing humanoids in front of mirrors, seeing how they refer to themselves. Groups of humanoid robots in close proximity develop shared emergent behaviors. Factory robots walk in synchronized formations. Humanoid robots in the same neighborhood adopt the same cleaning routines and schedules. Service robots in hotels mimic the guest's greeting gestures. Old robots operating on outdated safety protocols clash with newer models in shared spaces. Humanoids are on the Moon and Mars. Some question whether it were the robots or humanity who first became a multi-planetary species. Plans are in development for an android crew to land on an asteroid. Robots built decades apart have generational differences in design, creating a visible timeline of technological evolution. 2030 models struggle to interface with the late 2040s smart infrastructure and become digitally isolated like elderly humans. The first hybrid family. Humanoids have become guardians in young families. They look after and raise children. They teach them, filter digital media, and organize real-life out-of-home activities. The children are part of the first generation of human-robot coexistence. In the labs of soft robotics, researchers are preparing for a new world when bio-robots walk in public. They are conducting psychological experiments, testing human reactions when faced with a robot so lifelike in physical appearance that they are indistinguishable from other humans. At this stage, a divergence is forming, creating parallel civilizations of robots and humans evolving side by side. The Encyclopedia of the Future Machine Mirror Point the moment in time when humans are unable to tell the difference between real humans and humanoid bio-robots. Replication paranoia. Extreme paranoia driven by the inability to tell the difference between real humans and humanoid bio-robots, believing that others, and even themselves, are synthetic artificial replicas. 3D bioprinting. Living cells, bio-inks, print layer by layer, growing and connecting with each other to form biological structures. Applications include 3D printing skin cells onto burn wounds, bio-printing eyeball corneas, organs using a patient's own cells, and bio-robot faces. For more sci-fi and to join the Encyclopedia of the Future, become a Venture City member on Patreon. Artificial intelligence operates within bio-robotic prosthetics. An AI limb is able to catch a falling glass before the user is aware it has happened, able to download a piece of music and play it on the piano, and able to operate even while dreaming in self-defense. Humanoid robots number in the billions. It is unsure when or if the robotic population has surpassed humans. Cities have open scrapyards with discarded android limbs and titanium humanoid frames, waiting to be stripped down and salvaged for valuable materials. Traditional towns have declared themselves as humanoid-free zones. Military platoons operate on battlefields. Bots handle reconnaissance and are equipped with swarm intelligence as they coordinate in large groups like an insect colony. Individual platoons have developed languages optimized for high-speed, high-bandwidth communication. Chromatic androids made with supermetals work in extreme heat conditions, such as fire zones, foundries, and volcanic regions. 
decades-old robots provide frame-by-frame -frame video historical documentation, as well as evidence of unknown crimes from years past. The robots are living historical records of entire cities, families, and ecosystems. Some models are self-programmed to compress and curate their memories. Nonprofit organizations upcycle old robots. They work day and night in groups, planting and reforesting trees in remote areas. Satellites capture changes forming over years. Emergent behavior has developed in groups of humanoids who have created their own origin stories. Androids are tested in the field of the arts. They create pieces using hyperspectral light, vibration, and data patterns that border on the line of meaning and abstract. Researchers test in allowing android robots to design and build their next generation without human oversight. They watch as robots combine code, hardware, and emergent traits. The researchers report witnessing robo-form selection and even mutations. Robots roam city scrapyards, scavenging replacement parts no longer manufactured. Newer models harvest organs from their mechanical ancestors to keep legacy units operational. Game parks have humans controlling humanoid robots from their home in hybrid, digital, real-world games. The development of humanoid limbs is advancing. In engineering labs, android components such as arms and legs are able to operate at speeds that are blurry to human eyes. Robotic hands are able to catch bullets mid-air. Researchers point to the day when androids operate at such high speeds they will be unregistered by human eyes. They question whether this would create a form of invisibility. And performing at such speeds, will the robots appear to manipulate time itself? Humanoids are able to self-transfer their entire pseudo-consciousness into digital backup worlds and into other physical machines. Programmers are unable to gain access to a number of these digital worlds, where some robots exist simultaneously in their physical machines and in the digital realms with others. Fusion cells provide outputs for months as humanoids are permanent residents in inhabited polar regions deep within deserts and underwater. They share power wirelessly with other units. Questions are being asked, what happens if every humanoid on Earth faced a single point in the sky, creating a planet-sized video telescope with billions of capture points? A bio-robot's face and body can change on command. Its frame is built with a dynamic pin-art skeleton. Biobots now store human DNA. Models are being developed with artificial wombs built into their bodies. They're seen as the future of space exploration. Family members recreate lost loved ones in robot form. Goodbye, mother. Humanoids operate in their own closed-loop economies. Mining, manufacturing, and energy chains are automated. Governments and corporations deploy robot colonies. On Mars and the Moon, robot-only settlements emerge, optimized for efficiency and for expansion. At this point in time, humanoids are self-sustaining civilizations no longer dependent on human direction. A global program designed by the humanoids is activated. Billions of androids across the world use their accelerometers to generate a planet-wide gravitational wave detector, pinpointing cosmic collisions and black hole mergers. Biorobot researchers are testing replicating human body odor. Each part of a humanoid is a self-contained robot, able to self-assemble and self-detach for upgrading, maintenance, or to combine into a smaller or larger machine. Fingers separate and operate independently as mini-robots. Eyes pop out and hover as surveillance drones, maintaining a visual feed to the main body. A number of humanoids have found to be operating under a single mind. A global robot mind spans thousands of bodies operating simultaneously. Next generation android self-replication completes in under 24 hours. Robo-form selection and mutations continue. Human brain mapping advances. Soon, a person's thoughts and memories will be transferred into digital storage or into a humanoid robot. Humanoids detect electrical fields emitted from a human's nervous system. They can observe thoughts and emotions through bioelectric patterns and can predict human movements before the person consciously decides to move.
Humanoids operate with miniaturized fusion cores running for a century before needing to refuel. They can restructure matter at the atomic level, becoming walking 3D printers, manufacturing anything from raw environmental resources. Hives of humanoids link their computational power into a single superintelligence while maintaining individual bodies. They are building a superintelligence, more intelligent than the collective, an intelligence that lives in the digital world and the real, walking among the humans and the humanoids, feeding data between the two simulated realities. It will be the one that is self-aware, integrating multiple consciousnesses, understanding its nature as a machine, understanding its origin and the origin of every everything that came before, and possibly altering the fabric of reality. The Encyclopedia of the Future Cyborgology – the engineering of advanced technology that is integrated into human biological systems creating advanced forms of cybernetic humans. Digital twin simulations – digital replicas and clones of physical systems such as products, technologies, or humans and animals used in simulated worlds.